today I went through all of these canned goods and I felt like I had so many in there that I didn't even know what I had. I started out just going to see what I had in there and to check expiration. So I went ahead and pulled out everything, put it back in best I could. And the cans that are year 2022, I went ahead and put those in the back. This is one thing that I found that was going to go bad, this organic bone broth, but I decided I'm going to use it to cook the quinoa. This quinoa has done well by me as far as how much is left in it and how long I had it. And I think that I'll go and get that from Costco's next time rather than buying it at Walmart. And then it made me kind of want to go over here and clean out the spice cabinet. I didn't really clean it out, but I was pulling out things that shouldn't have been in there. And I ended up finding the apple cider vinegar in there with the mother. And... I rebought one, but forgot about that one. And then this raspberry, what is it? Raspberry jam. So I was going to throw this away because it's about to expire and it's just scrapings in it. So I ended up making peanut butter and jelly sounds for breakfast and for lunch. And I used this Dave's bread. I mean, I'm sorry, Ezekiel bread. I've been buying Dave's bread so much. That's why this Ezekiel bread and it's one you have to keep in the fridge and all that freezer whatever i'm not sure but this bread is horrible i know i bought this bread before and i really remember anything negative so i'm wondering are there more than one ezekiel bread and i got one that i don't like this is how i got through it and plan on getting through the rest of it because it's horrible in toast form I'm going to be making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Let me give you a little haul because there's some stuff over here that I notice I have that I have not showed you that I purchased. Just purchased it and never talked about it in a haul or anything. So I did buy another apple cider vinegar with the mother. And this is the 32 fluid ounce one. The biggest one I think you can buy in Walmart. This is the biggest pine saw. And I was shooting for a regular pine saw. But I ended up having to get the one with lemon, which I guess will be okay. Picked this up at the dollar store just the other day. And I think at the 99 cent store above for a dollar. I got these at Walmart and they're just black toothpicks. But one thing I noticed that they have an expiration of 2019. I don't think that matters, but that's a little, ugh, I don't know. I'm going to reconsider, even though I've already started using them. And then I picked up this little bottle of Dawn dishwashing liquid. Don't know where I got it from. Lemon scent. I think I got it from Walmart or 99 cent store. And then I picked up uh, my favorite coconut oil, my holy grail. And if you can believe it, I have been stretching this little bit. This little bit right in here. It's just like a corner. A little corner's worth. But now I got the... Uh, a new one so I played a game with my granddaughters and my daughters and I text everybody if they can guess the total for the items that um, I was going to get and I had named them off which was the coke organic virgin coconut oil apple cider vinegar pine saw some um, bug spray and probably a comet cleanser and nobody got it I have on some workout leggings and I got them from Walmart and they have a pocket for the cell phone which I like Got this ball cap on because my hair is messed up. But I'm gonna go ahead and just wash some dishes and then clear off this cabinet. But first I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera started because that's the main thing. I always just rinse pots out even though I've already washed them. All right, um, this is punctured. And I would not open this and put it back in the cabinet, so I'm not going to even use it. But, yeah. Mm -mm. So I'm still going to make some quinoa.
have these little um, smooth and melt mints or whatever smooth and melty candies my daughter had them sent to me from Amazon it's just little mint candies that are so good it wasn't recording but basically all I did was get the last four slices of this Ezekiel bread out so that I can throw this packaging away and I only had a bit of peanut butter left so I'm gonna throw this away because it's about to expire and I used the last four slices to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich I used the uh, raspberry jam that I got from the dollar store which is really good to my surprise and then I also got a spoon to taste the, uh, the water of this so that I can see if it's something a flavor that I like or if I need to add something else and it's really really good so I'm gonna turn that down on low and let that finish doing its thing and I had saved this from salsa last night or the night before I washed it out because I'm gonna take leftovers at lunch and then I'll be able to just throw this away so in the meantime I'm gonna put away all these things I just showed you put the sandwiches inside of a ziploc and then I'm going to mop the kitchen floor and then get on with cleaning those um, pots with SOS pads and my Mr. Clean pad. But first, I'm going to just finish um, washing the dishes first. Going to put all that stuff away. show you guys this carpet spray cleaner that I got from Dollar Tree well it really worked on some stains that I thought I would never get out of my carpet and I don't know who secretly stained my carpet but yeah try it can't believe this has an expiration date on it I found this too. It, I couldn't find it for a long time, but it was in my car. And it's a little shaker, my protein in. I've been sitting here going over my um, previous list of things to do and then I just started a new one and it basically since July is almost here I went ahead and started marking it up and then I put the things to do on the back page and so I like getting organized that way so I like daily checks off, checking off things I like weekly checking off things and then things just for the month and even things that I need to get around to like cleaning off my balcony if you should see the balcony it's horrific but i did a video that's up before this video and it was an unboxing on my apple ipad seventh generation so i will leave the link for that video in the description if you'd like to see it and i have the ipad and accessories so go check that video out and by the way please don't forget to thumbs up subscribe if you like and um Leave a comment. I'm going to give you a quick glimpse of the patio because I'm going to be getting on that. It's so ugly and a mess. So what we have here is some plant dirt. I don't know if you can see that. Plant dirt that I'm scared of a little bit. That is when I had to transplant some plants and I used that bucket, which I'm going to just throw the whole thing away. Basically, 
I'm gonna throw away the cardboard. That I'm gonna throw away all of that. Even if I have to end up buying more dirt. I have a car now, so I don't have to worry about carrying a bag of dirt home on the bus. And then this is the rest of the porch. This is a nice size patio. So it's basically my storage, but it's sort of an eyesore when you're sitting in front of this nice window and then you could see these storage bins and they're full of dust. Although that one there is my son's, that one there is my youngest daughter's and my older daughter, all of her stuff, the storage is in my closets and under my bed. Outfit of the day. To the back. Slide. And if you have on like a bralette underneath, you can have your shoulder off especially if you buy a shirt that is too big like this one is for me but nevertheless it's the outfit for the day and it's just a black shirt cotton tee little v here but a round neck and some stonewash jeans that have the jagged edge at the bottom i have one toe polished green I just painted my big toes.